So in today's video, I'm going to run through some of the beauty products that I've managed to get to the end of. So we've got some perfume in there, we've got some hair products, and we've got some actual makeup and things like that. So what I will do as well is let you know my thoughts on them quickly as we go through, and if it's something potentially that I would buy again or recommend for you to purchase or take a look at. So in no particular order, there's quite, there's, there, is, <laughs> there is quite a bit here. Um, yeah, got, 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 got quite a bit here, so I'll do my best to go through these as quickly as possible. Um, so I will do cutaways for these as well, just so it's easier for you to kind of see uh, any details on there. And what I will do, if I can find links to anything, I will link them all in the description box below. So if you want to take a closer look, uh, then by all means you can, you can do that. Um, I will, what I will do is the links that will be down below, um, they will be Amazon links, so they will be uh, affiliate links just so that you know, but I will make sure I put that disclaimer in the description bar as well. Description box, description bar, description box below. <laughs> so first off we have the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. Now, um, obviously I have my hair in braids at the moment and these that will be coming out literally in the next day or two because they are very, very messy at the moment. However, when I had my natural hair out, this was something that I kind of used. I didn't love it in all fairness. It's not something that I would repurchase. I didn't find that it left my hair feeling, I suppose, hydrated or softer in any kind of way. I didn't really like the feel of the actual um, mask either. It, it felt really heavy and didn't really have much slip when I was using it. So this is one that I wouldn't repurchase. It is quite expensive for what it is as a hair mask, which I think some of you guys will know with Shea Moisture, the prices are up there. Now I do use some Shea Moisture products, but this one I, I wouldn't, um, I'm not gonna say I wouldn't recommend because I do think it's comparative and you know, what doesn't work for me might work for you, but it's not something that I would purchase again. And then moving on to another hair product, we've got this, is it Miele, Mel, Miele, Miele, M-I-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E. and this is Babusu and Mint Deep Conditioner. Now this, this is really, really good. This is a new product to me, I've never used them before using this, and what, what I will say, this is absolutely, it's tiny, I mean, <laughs> it is tiny but it really does make a difference in my hair. It leaves it feeling really soft. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the mask, which I mean, maybe because it's a deep conditioner and not a mask, I suppose that might have some sort of bearing on how it feels. Um, but this is really, really good. It's got a little mint, um, as they say, it's babus and mint, and you can feel that tingling kind of on your scalp, which is really nice. So this again, it's not cheap. Um, I think it's up there around the 18 pounds mark, but again, I will leave links to these in the description box below. So if you are interested in taking a closer look and checking out some of the other reviews, by all means do that. But this is something that I think I've already purchased again. I might have it in another box somewhere, but I have purchased this already because I, I do really enjoy using it. So yeah, I will definitely be picking this one up again. And then next we have a beauty product. So this is the Ordinary Os Oscorbic Acid. Oh, it's an alpha. Alpha Arbutin, I can't even speak. <laughs> it's the Alpha Arbutin, so it's um, Arbusic. I'll put it on the screen because I, I can't say these bloody words. But um, this is something that I feel like I did use, but what I will say with the ordinary products, depending on what it is, I feel like some of the product does evaporate as you're using it, so you don't get to use it all. Now, I won't say I saw much difference in this, but I think that's more so probably down to the way I've used it. I haven't been consistently using it to be able to kind of monitor and see if there's actually any change in my skin. But yeah, I mean, the ordinary products are not too expensive. The reviews are pretty decent depending on what you're using um, and I suppose what you're after as well. So would I repurchase this? No, I do have another product I'm using at the moment, which I'm absolutely loving. But yeah, but it's, um, I wouldn't repurchase this one, unfortunately. It's a no. And then next we have the Hum Gummies with Benefits. So it's Boost and Sweet, sweet Boost, Sweet Boost. And this is a vitamin C and zinc. Now, this I picked up from, I think it's Cult Beauty. I use it all, I think there's one in there. You're supposed to add two a day, so I'm not even sure why there's one left in there. 
I just didn't use it because I'm thinking, well, surely I'm supposed to have two, so I didn't bother. Um, but what I will say with this, I think with any kind of supplement, I don't think using it for one month would kind of give you the um, results you're after. So I think this is something that you have to continually use. So I've not repurchased this because I just think it's quite expensive for what it is and I could potentially get something very similar cheaper. So um, yeah, I, you know, I enjoyed using it. They're a gummy, they're sweet, you chew them. But as I say, when, when I come to, if, if I'm, am I able to say to you that yes, I felt you know a, a difference in health after this no um but i do think maybe if i was continually using them for a good three to four months possibly but yeah it's, it's worth a try worth a try again it's, it's very relative what works for me might not work for you but you know vice versa but definitely worth a try if you are after a vitamin and then back to hair we have this Olaplex hair perfecto and number three repairs and strengthens all hair types now and this is in 100 mil what i will say i actually quite enjoyed using this uh, i think it is something that i probably will repurchase but what i'm trying to do i've got quite a lot of hair products around at the moment not nothing terrible so i don't want to just get rid without you know using that sort of waste of money so i'm trying to get through them but i do think this is something that i will definitely repurchase and incorporate into my um hair regime if you like and so i think a lot of you guys might know olaplex is quite a popular kind of hair you know treatment system but yeah i really enjoyed this it's really easy to use i think even with this size and i do have a lot of hair i suppose but I was able to get at least three treatments out of this, which I think is really good. So yeah, this is something that, that I would definitely um, repurchase and highly recommend as well if you are after something, if you're after having breakage or anything like that, or you just kind of want to help strengthen your hair, I'd definitely say um, give it a go. And as well, getting it in this size, um, although it's still not dirt cheap, it's less expensive than getting a big bottle and if you don't really like it, you know, so I'd say definitely give it a go. Okay, and then next I have three mascaras that I managed to get to the end of. So I have the Maybelline, um, is it Sensational and Sky, Sky, Skylight, is it? Oh, sorry, Sky High, <laughs> can't read it. Sky High Mascara. I've got the Maybelline, sorry, Rimmel Volume On Demand. And then I've got um, Maybelline Sensational, Lash Sensational. Now, would I repurchase any of these? I might do the Sky High one because I feel like I like the brush on this. Yeah, I like a comb brush. Um, the other ones, mm, they're a bit of a fatter, chunkier kind of. Yeah, that one's not too bad. I, I, let's put it this way, I didn't put them on and think, wow, but I used them to the end just because obviously, you know, I didn't want to waste. But I don't think I would repurchase any of these again. I'd say the only one I might do, depending on if I'm stuck, would be the um, Sky High one. But I'm using a couple of the Benefits mascaras at the moment, which I'm really enjoying. So I think I'd probably stick to them. Uh, but you know, sometimes, like I say, depending on how cash is flowing or not, you know, I might revert back to that at some point. But yeah, not, not bad, not terrible, but again, nothing to really to write home about. And then next we have, I think that I probably, you've probably seen these in a, um, a few other videos if you've watched them before, which is my Liz Earl, Liz Earl, Earl even, <laughs> which is my Liz Earl Skin um, Repair Moisturiser for dry and sensitive skin. I've used this for years. It's something that I constantly kind of revert back to. I always like to try new things, but I always come back to her, which is fantastic for my very dry skin and ex eczema prone skin. I've not had a flare up of eczema for quite a few years, to be fair, and um, I'm very careful as to what I use on my skin. But when I did have flare ups and things like that, this was ex fantastic. It really did soothe the skin and keep it moisturized for longer periods of time. So, yeah, I will never be without um, this Lizelle or Lizelle as a brand in general. I'm not sponsored, they don't know me, but I. I I use it, I've been using it for oh, easily 10 plus years, easily, easily, still love it to this day. And then next we have a fragrance, so this is the Jo Malone Pomegranate Noir Cologne. Now this, uh, this was bought a few years back actually and I used it very sparingly because it, I have to, I have to say it's one of my top fragrances. I absolutely adore this fragrance. I did a video which kind of showcased 
this being unboxed in the bigger size, the new one, so I will leave that video um, in the cards here and in the description box below, so if you want to check that out. So I went through my um, perfume collection and just showed you some of the, my favourites and the stuff that I'm liking, and then obviously um, I unboxed, and I've, I suppose I've spoiled it now, but I unboxed this as the larger one. I absolutely adore it. Um, it's I can't say anymore. Watch, watch the video, but the, I got to the end of this one, um, but I have a backup, thankfully. So that's the end of today's video, I hope you've enjoyed it, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on the some of the products that I've shown today, um, have you used them, what are your thoughts, did you enjoy using them, did you not, would you revive, that kind of thing, let's have the conversation in the comment section below, don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next video guys, bye for now, see ya.